What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 51 of our NC State Return to Primetime Dynasty. This is our week 13 game against the Duke Blue Devils. We are going against our one of our in-state rivals in Durham, North Carolina. As we're taking a look at Mike Manning, we are sporting all red helmets. He is our all-star, really, in my opinion, cornerback on the defense as Fleming and Koch are getting ready for the game. Uh, everybody's getting stretched out and ready, so let's just jump right into it as we actually get the ball first. So it will be first and 10 for the Wolfpack as Buck Mangum's looking to run the ball with Chuck Griffin. Griffin will get the ball. He will go right up the gut and get a starting off with six yards on the day. So after a negative one-yard rush, it will be third and five already for this offense as this Duke Blue Devil defense has been pretty tough as Mangum finds Brown over the middle for a first down. So now it will be second and eight after a two-yard rush. By Chuck Griffin. Mangum's looking to run Griffin on a power O, and he will hand the ball off to Griffin. And Griffin's got loads of space, and he has about a 14 yard gain on that play. He has over 1,400 yards rushing on the season and eight touchdowns. So now it'll be second and 10 after an incomplete pass, after that pickup of first down on that previous play. And Mangum will hand the ball off to Griffin again, and Griffin will only get four yards. So now it'll be third and six. For this offense, as Mangum sets up in shotgun formation, four verticals. Mangum will go ahead and drop back to pass. He's going to look. Look, he's going to fire deep over left-hand side of the field. He's going to find Fleming. And Fleming has the first down at the six-yard line. So now it'll be first and goal at the really five and a fourth mark. Mangum's going to hand the ball off to Koch. And Koch will get in the end zone. Touchdown, NC State. They open up the game with a touchdown on the beginning drive of the whole game in a general. So now after a 30-yard return, Sean Taylor of this Duke Blue Devil offense will set up in the empty backfield. He will drop back to pass, and he will be sacked for on the first play of their offensive series. That will be a seven-yard loss. They don't go anywhere. They'll have to punt the ball away. So Mangum in this offense will take the ball over, and Mangum will hand the ball off to Griffin, and Griffin will be stuck behind the line with a four-yard loss on the play. So Mangum will now set up a shotgun formation. And with four wide, he will drop back to pass. He's going to look. He's going to fire deep over left-hand side of the field. He's going to find Fleming. Fleming is be in front of him. Out across the 10-yard line. Touchdown, NC State. They take a 14-0 lead over the Blue Devils early in this game. Taking it right to their rivals as we get another look at this. As he beats his man at the line of scrimmage within the 5-yard mark before it becomes illegal contact. And uh, Fleming makes a great catch. He's definitely set up late in the season after struggling early with his hands. So now it will be first and 10 after another 30-yard return. And as Sean Taylor sets up in the pistol formation, he will hand the ball off to Schuler, And Schuler will go right-hand side. And Schuler will get an 8-yard gain. So nice rush right there by the Blue Devil running back. And so now second and two, Taylor pistol. He'll, he'll fake the handoff. And he's going to look. He's going to fire left-hand side for Schuler. Schuler has the first down. He will shred a tackler. And he will be brought down at the, about the 47-yard line. So now it'll be first and 10 running the no huddle constantly throughout this game. They will be. But they do it for the first time. Actually, the second time right here. Shotgun formation for Sean Taylor as he sends his tight end in motion, Walker. And uh, he will draw back to pass. He's going to look, look, and he's going to fire in the middle and find Walker who stumbles but gets a nice five-yard pickup. So now running no huddle con again. Shotgun formation, Taylor will go ahead and hand the ball off to Schuler, And Schuler will keep it, make a man miss, make another man miss, and he will be finally brought down about the 30-yard line. What a strong running back they have on their team. So now it will be, after a two-yard loss, it will be second and 12 as Taylor will go ahead and keep it himself. And he's got loads of space. Sean Taylor has the first down and more out across the 16-yard line. So now it will be second and 10 after a zero-yard rush as Tim Lee got into the backfield for a nice tackle. And Taylor will set up for in a uh, pistol uh, formation. Schuler will make a man miss, and he will basically be thrown into the end zone. Touchdown, Duke. They cut the deficit to seven. Uh, early on in the second quarter as Mangum and this offense will take the ball over second and 10 after an incomplete pass Griffin will get the ball and get a nice pickup of about 10 on the play but they won't give him the first down so it'll be third and tw uh, inches as Mangum brings the troops to the line and no huddle offense he will run to play action and it will be intercepted by Anderson the linebacker and Mangum's looking for Wilkinson on that nice crossing route that's been or a nice out route that's been uh, used so much as they don't get anywhere after that interception they'll have to bring on their field goal unit and the kick will be nice hold but the kick will be up and it will be just short of the crossbar so they will miss the play as Manning's very happy about that they missed that so after a negative one yard rush they will take the ball over basically where they le left off from the field goal and as Mangum throws it deep down the field for Wilkinson, he will overthrow it. So it will be third and 11 
for the Wolf Pack. Mangum's looking to possibly run the ball, but he's going to go ahead and audible over to four verticals once again. Third and 11 right here for the Wolf Pack as Mangum will drop back to pass. He's going to look and he's going to fire deep down the field. He's going to find Lane. Sean Lane has loads of space. He'll be brought down about the 30 yard line. Nice play across midfield. So now it'll be first and 10 in enemy territory. Mangum's going to go ahead and hand the ball off to Griffin again. Griffin's going to go right hand side and he will get a nice pickup of about. Eight on the play, so that would be second and two for this Wolfpack offense as Mingham's looking to rush uh, Griffin up the middle, and Griffin will get the ball and get the first down. So now it'll be first and ten as we have 100% efficiency in the red zone already. First and goal for this Wolfpack offense as Mangum will go ahead and fake the handoff to Griffin. He will fire over the right-hand side and find Wilkinson. Wilkinson got it down by the goal line, but he will be stuffed out of bounds at the one-yard line. So it will be first and goal for this Wolfpack offense as Mangum's looking to hand the ball off to Griffin. Griffin's going to go right-hand side, and Griffin will get in the end zone for his ninth touchdown of the season as NC State takes the 21-7 lead over their in-state rivals. One of their in-state rivals, as it will be second and ten after a zero-yard rush. Taylor, pistol formation, drops back to pass, and he'll be sacked on the play by Preston. Preston has his 12th sack on the season, 12 and a half sacks technically, 13 tackles for loss. He's been a beast, and they will have to punt the ball away later on in that possession. So Mangum, second and eight after a two-yard rush, will shred a tackler on a play-action play and fire over the middle and will be in incomplete. So now that will bring up third and eight. We are three for four on third down conversions. Mangum's looking to... Go ahead and change up the offense on an audible. We'll go back into shotgun formation. Four verticals. Drops back to passing a fire left inside. It's going to be intercepted by Bennett. Second interception of the day for Mangum. And second interception of the day for this Duke Blue Devil offense as Bennett will try, uh, basically bring all the way back down to the 13 yard line. So that'll be first and 10 for the Blue Devil offense as Taylor will set up in the pistol. He will hand the ball off to Schuler. And Schuler will be met in the backfield by Hearn for a nice four yard loss. But on a four yard rushing. Actually, a four-yard, yeah, rushing play after a uh, timeout. 47 seconds remaining. Third and 10. Taylor's going to drive back to pass. He's going to fire over the middle. He's going to find his man, Brown, for the first down. So now it'll be first and goal for the Blue Devil offense as Taylor's empty backfield will drive back to pass. He's going to look. He's going to fire over the left-hand side. It's going to be caught by Schuler. Almost intercepted on that play. But Schuler will get the touchdown, so they cut the deficit to only seven again. So now it'll be first and ten for the Wolfpack offense. Mangum's going to drive back to passing to fire over left hand side. They're going to find Fleming. Fleming has loads of space. He will just run out of bounds to conserve some clock. So now it'll be 26 seconds left in the second uh, quarter. First and ten for this Wolfpack offense as Mangum's looking to run the the counter play with Griffin. Griffin will get the ball and go right hand side, and he will get a nice pickup of about seven on the play. So we take a timeout. Second and three right here for the Wolfpack as. Mangum sets up a shotgun formation. He will drop back to passing on the fire left-hand side on a nice curl out to Fleming. Fleming's out across the 30-yard line. First and 10 translation to second and eight after a two-yard rush by Chuck Griffin. It will be 14 seconds left in the second quarter. Mangum's going to hand the ball off on a draw to Griffin. Griffin's going to go right up the gut, and Griffin will get the first down. 10 seconds remaining. First and 10, no huddle offense after calling in audible. Mangum will drop back to passing on the fire left-hand side. He's going to find Fleming. Wide open in the end zone. Touchdown, NC State. They take a 28-14 to 14 lead as halftime goes in. Duke will have to punt of the ball away first possession of uh second half for them and we will get the ball back as bangham hands the ball off to griffin and griffin gets a huge chunk of yardage about 15 or 16 yards on that carry now after another two yard rush by griffin it'll be second and eight mangham is going to hand the ball off to griffin griffin will go right hand side and griffin will get a nice pick of about four on the play so it'll be third and four now for the Wolfpack offense, Mangum's looking to run some play action. He will fake the handoff to Griffin. Mangum's going to look over the right-hand side. He's going to be caught by Wilkinson. Wilkinson has the first down for this NC State offense as Mangum's looking to run the power O play again for Griffin, who's tiring. Mangum's going to hand the ball off to Griffin. Griffin's going to get right-hand side, and Griffin will get a nice pick of about four on the play. But after a two-yard gain and incomplete pass will be fourth and four looking to possibly make the defense jump off sides we will actually get a false start penalty called on the offense so that will bring it back them up five yards so it'll be fourth and nine coming up as we get tagged with that penalty and so we'll bring on the field goal unit to possibly make this a 17 point game and the kick is up good hold by simmons smith drills it from 49 yards out 31 to 14, we take the lead. And after a one yard rush, it will be second and nine for the Blue Devil offense. Taylor will drive back to pass and shotgun formation. He will look, 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 and he's going to fire left inside. It's almost picked up by Goodman on another play like he had in the NC game. That would have been awesome. 
Uh, but uh, he just bats it down which is just as good. So now it'll be third and nine. Shotgun formation. Taylor will drive back to pass. He's going to look. And he's going to fire in the middle. Find Schuler, And Schuler has loads of space in front of him and will be tackled. But not before he gets the first down. Not running. No huddle again. Defense is getting tired of this. And I know I was. It's going to be first and ten. As Schuler is in shotgun formation. Uh, sorry, not Schuler. <laughs> Taylor is in shotgun formation. But Schuler will receive the ball on a nice draw play. And Schuler will get the first down. So first and ten. No huddle again. As Taylor goes under center for one of the first times in the game, and he will go ahead and drop back to pass, and he's going to fire deep down the field. Hearns going to bat it away, but Hearns stumbles, and Fitzpatrick has the touchdown. That's now only a 10-point gain. I mean, 10-point game now, and that was a nice gain on the play as Hearns stumbled. He was going for the swat, but he didn't get anything, so... 10-point game with 122 left in the third quarter. Megan's going to hand the ball off to Griffin. First down and 10. And Griffin will get a nice pick of about 7 on the play. So now, second and 3, going no huddle ourselves. Megan's going to hand the ball off on a nice draw play to Griffin. Griffin will go up the middle, and he will get a nice first down pickup. So now, first and 10, shotgun formation. A nice 4 vertical, vertical audible right here for Mangum as he will drop back to passing to the far left inside and find Fleming. Fleming has the first down on a nice curl route. So now it'll be first and 10 for the Wolfpack as Mangum brings the troops to the line. Looking to run Chuck Griffin right up the gut. And he will hand the ball off to Griffin. Griffin will get a nice pick of about 7 on the play. So now second and 3 for the Wolfpack. As Mangum sets up in shotgun formation, he will go ahead and hand the ball off. Or no, he's actually going to audible into a four vertical play shotgun formation. Going, looking for the deep pass. And uh, he will go ahead and drive back to pass. He's going to fire. And actually, he will be sacked on the play for a big loss. So now it'll be fourth and 11. We're going to punt the ball deep to their receiver as uh, the ball gets down. Their receiver's not going to go for it. And here comes Sanders. Sanders trying to make a play, and he will catch it on the two-yard line. What's good, great special teams play Sanders pulled off there. So it'll be first and 10. Fagan's going to look to run up the gut and possibly get them in, in the end zone. He stumbles, and <clears throat> Schuler will pick up the first down. So now it'll be first and 10 for the Blue Devils after basically escaping their own uh, end zone. And uh, Taylor will hand the ball off to Schuler out of the pistol formation, but he will lose two on the play. So it'll be second and 12 with transition to third and 11 after a one yard uh, gain on second down. So third and 11, shotgun formation. Taylor's, since it's tied in motion, he will go ahead and draw back to pass. Taylor's going to look, going to fire on the screenplay, find Schuler. And Schuler has loads of space in front of him. Schuler's out past the 40, and he's going to be brought down by the 45 yard line, uh, almost into our own territory at this point. But after a four yard gain, it's going to be second and four. Pistol formation. Taylor is going to go ahead and draw back to pass. He's going to look. He's going to fire the right-hand side. He's going to find his man, Reese. Reese, the fullback, has the first down out across the 45-yard line. Sorry, 35-yard line. So now it'll be second and nine after a one-yard rush. Taylor's going to hand the ball off to Schuler again on a draw play, and Schuler will get another nice play. But after an incomplete pass, will be fourth and three. They're going to go for it right here with in the fourth quarter, 314 remaining. Taylor's going to drive back. He's going to fire left inside. Find more. Moore is out across the 10-yard line to the, about the 8-yard line. So it'll be first and goal from the 8 coming up as they set up in shotgun formation. No huddle offense killing our defense right now. As Taylor will drive back to pass, he's going to look. And he'll be sacked on the play by Cox. Cox with another sack um, on the season. So now it will be second and goal for the Duke Blue Devil offense as Taylor's going to hand the ball off to Thomas and he will be met behind the line. So now third and goal coming up as we took a timeout to get our defense kind of ready uh, a couple plays ago. So now it'll be third and goal. Taylor's going to drive out a pass. He's going to look. He'll fire in the middle. Find Walker. Walker is pushing the end zone. Touchdown, Duke. They cut the deficit to three. So first and 10 at our own 25. Mangum's going to hand the ball off to Griffin. Griffin will get a nice pick of about five on the play. So after a one-yard gain on the previous play and a timeout by Duke, they've burned two of their timeouts. The third and four are going to hand the ball to Griffin. Griffin will get nowhere, only one yard, and they will use their final timeout. So we're going to go for it. Fourth and three. Try to get this you know, defense to jump off sides. There's a hard count once, and he jumps off sides. They just gave us a first down with no timeouts left, with 2.12 left in the game. We're going to check the call, and it was a Kroenschmitz. So five-yard penalty. We get the automatic first down. And so after a one-yard rush, it'll be second and nine for the Wolfpack. As Mangum's going to go ahead and hand the ball off to Griffin. Griffin will be met in the backfield for a one-yard loss. It'll be third and ten. Going to run some clock down. It's going to be third and ten. Shotgun formation for Mangum as he drops back to pass. And he's going to fire. Oh, ten side of the field is going to be picked off by Marks. Marks has an interception. And he's going to bring this one back inside the 50. 
And they are in prime position to possibly score here late in the game against the number five team in the nation, NC Wolfpack. And so here we go. Shotgun formation for Taylor. First and ten, a minute and three left in the game. Taylor will drop back to pass. He's going to look. Fire deep over the middle of the field. It's going to be caught by Kendrell. Defense intercepts the ball. They save our butts on offense, and we take the ball over. With 56 seconds left in the fourth quarter, he's going to kneel the ball down for one. They're second and 12. Here's another one. Mangum going to kneel the ball down again after running it down to about 30 seconds to make sure we have enough time left on the clock. With third and 14 now for our offense, Mangum's going to shut up in shotgun formation to try to get this first down to extend the lead without having to pump the ball. He will drop back to pass. On third and 14, after letting it take down to 10 seconds left on the clock, Mangum's going to fire deep on the left-hand side of the field. He's going to find Fleming. Fleming's down the side. He shows a tackle. He's going to be out across the 40-yard line. So now will be first and 10, four seconds remaining in the game, running no huddle. Maybe we can rub this victory in their faces. Mangum's going to drive by passing. He's going to look deep down the field. Wilkinson's wide open. He will run into the end zone to end the season. Regular season, that is, with a touchdown as we take a 38-28 to lead with no time left in the game against our in-state rival Duke Blue Devils. What a play as he's just wide open. He just trusts in his and he looks at the fans and they know what just happened. So we improve to 11 and 1 on the season with that 38 to 28 victory over NC uh, over the Duke Blue Devils as NC State will go ahead and celebrate. What a close game. We almost blew that one. But again, we prevail 38-28, and the play of the game is going to be that deep touchdown pass to Fleming earlier on in the second quarter to make, or first quarter, I think, actually to make it a 14-0 lead. So great play from this offense as we take down Duke. And we can see Fuller uh, went ahead and committed to us. He's the last ATH athlete that was on our board. So what a great game against Duke as we head into our week 14 bye week. So we'll tackle recruiting next time. And then after that, we'll see who we play in the ACC championship game. We are the number four team in the nation, boys. Let's go get this one.